Alright, so you finally did it. You finally pulled the trigger on that Valve Index and voluntarily gave up those 1,000 smackaroons of your own hard-earned money. Now you're probably feeling a lot of feelings right now. Maybe some anxiety, some giddy excitement, maybe some deep-seated depression and regret, possibly even a pain in your side from where they removed your liver that you sold to pay for your Valve Index. Hmm? Regardless of what you may or may not be feeling, currently there's a good chance you're already thinking about what you're going to need to enhance that Valve Index and really make it the best experience that it can be. Because what's better after spending $1,000 than spending more money? Am I, am I right, guys? <laughs> Wish what you could play VR without having to take your glasses off? Who are you? And how did you get in my house? You should try VR Rock prescription lenses. Okay, this is really weird. What's going on? VR Rock makes them to your prescription, and they fit right over your headset's lenses comfortably. They're affordable, too, and if you click on the referral link in the description and use discount code GRAMZY, you'll get 5% off your purchase! The description. What are you talking about? How did you get in here? I mean, you left the front door unlocked. I'm calling the police. Yeah, okay, that's a good idea. I'm gonna leave now. Bye! So here's three accessories for my Valve Index that I absolutely cannot live without on a day-to-day -day basis. For reference, you can spend a lot of money on VR accessories. I mean, haptic vests are upwards of $300 usually. Most high-quality Valve Index gun stocks are at least a hundred or more. There's all kinds of crazy covers, cleaners, and way, way more. So for reference, I'm aiming for accessories that I use most frequently or have been the most useful to me for normal operation, but also ones that don't break the bank, with the total of all three combined of these accessories squeaking in at just under 70 bucks. So here we go. The first accessory, and probably most obviously for anyone who has used a Valve Index for any meaningful time, a pulley system. I cannot express how much difference a pulley system makes when using traditional tethered headsets, in particular the Valve Index. It can mean the difference between an extremely frustrating and wire tangled experience and being completely and totally immersed in your valve index. Not to mention it's actually kind of a hazard as well to just have a cord always dangling around by your feet or in your general play area. Arguably the worst part of playing VR is that sometimes you realize you're in VR. With a thoughtfully routed pulley system on your ceiling, you can delete fall hazards during play and help keep yourself focused on the fun parts of VR, not worrying about the cord wrapping around your leg or stepping on it during play. Now as far as specific brands go, I personally use a Kiwi pulley system. They have the most affordable and the highest quality pulleys in my opinion, with the option to have each individual pulley set to a different tightness setting so that you will be able to optimize your own setup perfectly. Now I'll admit, I'm slightly incentivized to recommend them because <coughs> use my referral link in the description, <coughs> but in all seriousness, they only offer me that discount code. They're not paying me to advertise their product or anything like that. I genuinely have used this pulley system since the beginning, even before I have that nice little discount code in the description. And I have sworn by it ever since. Never had a single issue with the pulleys themselves, no breakages, and the fact that they aren't connected directly to the hook part means you can always readjust or reroute them whenever you want. Seriously, an underrated product in my opinion, because this is a must-have for me every single time that I play PC VR, and legitimately, I don't know what I'd do without it. Probably just cry, honestly, and buy a Quest 2 and feel sad or something. In any case, the Kiwi pulley system comes in at a cool $20, which is honestly a really, really good price point for these things. I feel like Kiwi could charge at least $30 or $40, and people would probably still buy it, but hey, my wallet isn't complaining. On to the next one. The second accessory we are going over is one I also use every time we play VR, or <laughs> specifically, more like whenever I'm not playing VR. Yes, a stand or mount for your headset. This goes for any headset really, but especially for a Valve Index because look, you just spent a thousand dollars on this beautiful high performance VR headset. Give it the love that it deserves and give it a shrine to sit upon when it's not being used because the alternative is like, what, put it back in the box every single single time? You're just gonna undo every connection and repackage it like new? You know, are you just gonna leave it on the floor or on a, on a desk or a shelf somewhere? Just rubbing against a, a cold surface alone in the dark? No, you want it 
properly supported, clear from potential hazards, and stored safely. I also purchased mine from Kiwi, and it was also just 20 bucks. <coughs> Use code Gramsy for 5% off all Kiwi products. <coughs> mm, excuse me, that was a bad one. Bringing our grand total up to $40 even today. But really, not only is this stand easy to put together and super useful and convenient for storing both your headset and your controllers, but it's also not that expensive and saves a ton of pain and hassle or worry about where you're storing your headset when it's not in use. If you prefer a wall-mounted design, those are also available all over the place online, and they're even cheaper than most stands, but they'll require a little bit of work to get them into your drywall, plus you'll have the damage to your drywall from those stands. Still, for another even 20 bucks, this is a no-brainer for anyone with a VR headset, let alone a Valve Index. Okay, Okay, third, and I really debated on this one because there were two that were really close, but I figured the ad could serve as a nice honorable mention. Originally thinking about recommending the prescription VR lenses from VR Rock, but I personally don't use them very often simply because I wear contact lenses and they'd be way more useful for someone who uses glasses regularly instead. So for my third must-have accessory, I went with my leather facial interface. Now I use this primarily for when I'm going to be doing something physically intensive like playing Beat Saber or brutally murdering random people in Blade and Sorcery. The standard facial insert for the Valve Index is amazing. Like, it's actually really, really great. It's insanely comfortable. It has a nice, almost like cooling effect to it, and it looks amazing as well. But it's cloth, which means when I sweat, and I sweat a lot, it means that all that nasty salt water is just getting soaked up and absorbed by the cloth insert. So... I need something that is a bit more hydrophobic so I don't have to worry about getting super gross bacteria ridden facial inserts on my valve index. And for just about 30 bucks, this is easily one of the best investments I have ever made into an accessory for this headset. I use it literally all the time and I appreciate that I don't have to worry about getting too, too sweaty. I can just pop it on and go and get as sweaty as I want. You'll also see this with a lot of these leather and silicone type brands where they'll have a much more close form fitting fit to your face and this will prevent fogging and also prevent sweat from actually getting inside of your lenses and like touching your lenses and and just you know sweating all over your eyeballs because I don't know if you've ever gotten sweat in your eyes it kind of sucks there's all kinds of different facial inserts in this regard and you can actually spend some real money on these if you want but for a generic leather or silicone insert it shouldn't cost you more than probably about 30 bucks and it'll do the job perfectly. And that's it. That's my top three most recommended accessories for the Valve Index. That's all the time we have today. And if you're still watching, I appreciate you more than you will ever know. Remember to hit the like button if you thought this video was informative. Subscribe if you want to see more of it next week and hit that notification bell if you just cannot stand missing out on this sweet, sweet VR content. I love each and every one of you beautiful, beautiful feathermuckers. Until next time. Grimsy out.